What's going on everybody? TBA back out here on the eastern shore. Shut up, blue heron. I'm looking for redemption today, man, because I'm at the very same spot where I got broken off by something big. And it wasn't it wasn't broken off. It came off the hook because I let tension off of the pole and the line just a little bit. As a matter of fact. Here's a clip of that video. Oh, he dropped it. No. Yeah, so that I'm still feeling that a little bit. But we're out here, man, going to go after snake heads. We're gonna to try to see if we can get something bigger. I'm hoping the fishing is good today because there was a lot of adversity this morning. It started raining where I live at. Then I'd stop and start, go to get my bait. I realized, doggone, I left my aerator at home. So I had to spend a lot more money on an aerator. And if any of you all know about bull minnows, they suck up a lot of oxygen in the water. So I had to get a bigger aerator. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. But the thing is, um, it's normally good fishing when it's a very bad start to the day for me so i'm hoping that stays true today it stopped raining it is very cool out here today in fact i don't even think it's supposed to get above 80 today uh it's supposed to be mainly cloudy which it is cooler day we'll see if uh that makes a bite nice all right so i'm gonna stop talking get baited up and we'll get some uh minnows out there and catch some snakeheads all right Talking y'all didn't even realize my bobber went underwater. Catfish, man. Bruh, I'm not trying to catch you today, man. <laughs> Little bullhead. White perch on the board, got a bullhead on the board, still no snakehead. Come on, man. Ah. Uh, got him. Oh, don't go around that pole. Oh, did he come off? He came off. I think so. Yeah. Oh, no, we still got him. Oh, a baby snakehead. Look at that. <laughs> you want him? Yeah. Little baby snakehead. See you later, Holmes. Get you back. Bam, gone. Nah, get away. Man. These seagulls have no shame whatsoever. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, did he come off? Oh, no, he's on there. Something's on there. What is this? Another baby snakehead. You want him or throw him back? Alright. That's all you wanted was a meal. Where's the big ones at, bruh? Hmm? Oh, there we go. Alright, bruh. <laughs> Y'all wanna hear a joke? He just had a he just had a hit. Bobber was running. My topwater popper is just chilling in the water. It's barely moving, and this white perch just slammed it, man. Then he kept flopping around, got his tail hooked. Man, you were too funny, bro. There we go. Pliers makes getting trouble hooks out ten times easier. Bam, gone. All right. Got one on. Cool. Snake hit. Yes. All right. Let me get the net for you. Oh, hopefully he's bigger. Got some bite. Oh yeah! Ah, get off of there! Oh, little guy. <laughs> hey, he's get—they're getting bigger. They're—they're they're definitely getting bigger. Now we need that double-digit one to hit. <laughs> uh oh! 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 Got him! Oh snap! Oh, he's bigger. He's bigger. This one is bigger. This one is bigger. Oh, he is bigger. 
Oh, he got some saws to him. Yeah, he got some saws. He's got some saws. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Dang! Oh. Oh, he was. That would have. He was. He was big. Beautiful. All right. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, I can see him. Uh, I can see the minnow move. Mm -hmm. And you can see him. You can see bubbles and stuff. Yeah. He, he was messing with it. Finally hit it. They say when you see the bubbles, that means that's definitely a snakehead. Yep. Look at that, y'all. Another sea trout. Beautiful. Little, yeah. Man, that's a, they're all little today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That bobber still hadn't come up. Oh, he's swimming to you? Yeah. Cool. Whoa! Catfish. <laughs> oh, little channel catfish. Cool. So that's a bullhead catfish, channel catfish, snakehead, white perch, and sea trout. Wow. So we got quite a few different species on the board today. Hey, here we go. Definitely got some solid. Woo! Finally. Getting a little bit bigger now. Got him. Good job, sir. Ah, finally finding the ones with size now. Cool. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh oh. Jeez. Back to back. The little one. <laughs> yes, it is. He's still decent. No, that's your spot. I'm staying out your way. Another sea trout, y'all. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Thought you had a nice meal, huh? Set the hook, got you up here. Now you found yourself on land with an ugly dude just facing you, huh? Yeah. You're lucky I'm going to be nice to you. Man, you better not pinch me, bruh. I see you flaring up. <laughs> Fish, y'all. Just went up. Oh, man. Good night. Of course, I put my net in the car. Uh oh, did it come off? No, he didn't come off. All right. Just put my net in the car, too. I hope he's light. What is this? Catfish. Ah! Ain't trying to catch you, man. Little channel catfish. 
Oh well. Was it good, homie? Next thing I know, my pole's on the ground, and I thought, I thought it was the wind, but <laughs> it was bouncing on the ground. Little channel cat, yeah. Later, homes. All right, so we are at the second spot. I've known of this spot, but I've never fished here before, so we're gonna see what's going on. Uh, birds are feeding pretty heavy right now. Of course, there are lures in the power lines, a little more than my favorite spot, but it's not as, it's not as many as the most popular spot out here. So we're gonna throw a couple minnows out and see what happens, all right? All right. There we go. Oh, there we go. Got him. Woo! Oh, did he come off? No, he's still on there. What is this? He's fighting like a snakehead. Oh, it's... Oh, it's a snakehead. Cool. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Bam. Woo. I think we made a good call. <laughs> All right. Oh no, all right. Same length as last time. 23 and a half inches. I might have, I might have duplicated my PB now. That's gonna be the hard part. 4.45 pounds, so this is my second best snakehead. All right, bro, looking good. Ugh. Bam, he is gone. All right, y'all, so y'all just saw that uh, that snakehead. That was my second best snakehead, but like, like two ounces. Again, with black water, black water is so massive and so open. Only spot I've ever heard of was the most famous spot that everybody goes to. And my thing, I don't like fishing where everybody fishes because I don't like having my stuff get tangled up and I'm not a fan of people who see someone catch a fish and they cast right beside them. That's just me. But this spot, again, just like my other spot, I just stumbled up on it. Oh, that looks cool. I see some features that now I've gotten educated on with some snakeheads. And I, I said, you know what? I'm going to cast in that area, that nice, quiet, calm area. Bam. All right. It's not that hard. Again, black water is so massive. I, like now all the spots I have, I've not asked a single person. If you ever find yourself out in black water, just come out and explore. You know, that's what it is, beating the road, getting off the old beaten path, finding spots. There are snakeheads all over the place. You go anywhere, you're gonna catch them. All right, but just a, you know, words of encouragement, word of advice. All right, uh-oh, uh-oh, got him. Woo, got him, oh, whoa, oh my gosh. Wow, did y'all see that? Good night. I don't think he's as big as the first one, but gee whiz, man. Yo. Yeah, he's not as big, but jeez. They definitely got some spunk in them over here. Second one, bam, only been here a half hour. Bam, baby, bam. All right, y'all, I'm gonna be smart. For those of y'all who are not familiar with snakeheads, they have very, very, very sharp teeth. And nine times out of 10, when you land them, their jaws are gonna lock up because they just don't want, they want to open. I swear I just heard him growl too. Mm. Mm. 
Mm, there we go. All right, bro. Good night. To this day, every single time when I have a day planned for fishing and the morning goes awful, the fishing is the best. And I gotta say, myself, I've caught four snakeheads today. That's the most I've caught in one trip. Um, again, I'm still building up in the snakehead world. Uh, you know, you got guys that are catching 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pounders, double digits. Uh, I'm still in the four to five pound range, but you gotta start somewhere, all right? Today was awesome. Two, three small snakeheads and one uh, 4.45 pound snakehead, which is now my second best. There was actually another spot in this area I wanna fish, but I gotta go because I got a video that I'm dropping tonight, six o'clock, all right? Anyways, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, that plane messed up my train of thought. Um, oh, again, four snakeheads, but got a video that's dropping tonight and I'd like to be home in the Wi-Fi to drop it instead of using cellular data, all right? Uh, again, it's the uh, uh, Friday the 13th, Jason Goes Fishing video with that hook set. Uh, again, links in the description. Check it out if you haven't already. In the meantime, I'm out of here. I'm gonna get up across this bridge, go back to Central Maryland. All right, so y'all stay safe. Y'all take care. Be easy. Baltimore Anglers. See you later, man. Oh, y'all thought I was gonna get you. You thought I was gonna get you, right? Bam! <laughs>